younger sister of her piano teacher. Around 100 people were in attendance and the reception was at the church. Linda's mother made the cake. Belita Ayers was known as the cake lady of Plainview and her artistic nature was reflected in her cakes. There was a bride and groom atop the cake and various attendants were on other layers of the cake. Linda's bouquet had various pastel colors and each attendant's dress was a different color. And today, Linda is carrying a bouquet she made up of flowers in her garden. John and Linda still have the wedding cake ornaments and some of the icing flowers. The flowers are a little faded, but then so are John and Linda. There was also a chocolate girls cake decorated with various electrical engineering symbols. Today, Linda is wearing her daughter's dress, Jennifer Valina Tarvin Ferry, who was married in October of 2001 in San Jose. Linda is wearing the wedding veil from her own wedding, and it was made by her mother, Valina. And Linda is wearing her garter. She still has her garter. <laughs> The newlyweds had a short camping honeymoon in an Oklahoma campground before starting their summer jobs. Part of their honeymoon was spent picking ticks off of each other. How luxurious. Their first home was an apartment in brand spanking new complex built especially for married tech students. Linda graduated the next year with an elementary education degree specializing in music. She began her first teaching job in Lubbock, Texas. John graduated the next year. John's occupation was an electronics engineer. Work transfers took Linda and John back to Dallas, Texas area where Linda again taught fifth grade. She was warned about a chair in her new room. The previous two teachers had left because of pregnancy. By the end of the semester, Linda was pregnant with Jane, her son. In 1979, John had called Linda from work and asked how she would like to move to California. I don't think so, she replied. He assured her it would be in Northern California. Once she uh, she saw it. She fell in love with Morgan Hill. They still live in the same house they purchased during a visit on Valentine's weekend. Linda also fell in love with gardening in California and wrote a column from home called Green Side Up for the Gilroy Dispatch for seven years. Next, Linda got her California teaching credentials and began a uh, substitute teaching in Morgan Hill School District. By 1988, John was tired of commuting to Silicon Valley and the couple opened a print shop in Morgan Hill, which they ran for 20 years until they sold it and retired in 2009. The business name was Hotspot Printing, which, which won a small business of the year sometimes during the 1990s. After retirement, John and Linda went on a series of road trips. They had also done volunteer work in the community focused on seniors. When the city of Morgan Hill cut the budget of the senior center in half, they held a fundraiser uh, at 1401 Winery and with the collaboration of Cricket Rubino, started Tuesday night bingo in Morgan Hill. Bingo's funds have raised thousands of dollars for the Morgan Hill Senior Center. John and Linda both still enjoy music. John compo composes using different instrumentation available through computer applications. Linda is an enthusiastic ukulele player. What other kind are there? She plays for clients at Live Oak Adult Daycare, among others. 
She also enjoys participating in several local youth uh, youth uh, jams. She also has a volunteer garden guide at Bonfanti Gardens for the first three years of their existence. Linda and John are the proud grandparents of three grandchildren. Isaac is 15, and Amber and Owen are 13. Thank you so much, Linda.